Hey there everybody, welcome back to another video. So in this video we will talk about privacy in particular on our iPhone. So as you guys know that Apples are really really serious and respectful about their privacy to their users. Therefore in this video we will talk about the new privacy that they have updated recently at the same time we will show you some of the trips and tricks that you can apply to improve your privacy on your iPhone. Now the very first feature that we're going to talk about is called app tracking mode. So what it actually does, let's see if you're using the third party application and if you just use that features then your data and privacy will not be get stolen. Now to turn this feature so on the very first things you want to do is simple just go ahead and open up your settings and now scroll down to your privacy and then you will get this option called tracking. Now after that go ahead and tap tracking well, once you're here, you'll be able to see all of this third-party application will be added to the list, so you simply can toggle them off manually. Now, if you want to toggle them off all at once, then you have to choose this option called Allow Apps to Request to Track, and then you're going to come across these options. Now, if you choose the first option called Allow Apps to Continue Tracking, this process will keep giving the access to the users. But if you, however, choose this one called Ask Apps to Stop Tracking, then your tracking will get off and your privacy get improved and there will be less chance to you know get stolen your privacy to other people now right after that now let's go ahead and talk about the other features on your iphone that you can use to improve your privacy all right guys now let's go ahead and talk about using the strongest password on your iphone now the question is how would you do that now just use strongest password on your iphone the first things you want to do is just go ahead and tap your settings scroll down to your face id and passcode and it will ask you for the password that you use to unlock your device and now if you scroll down here and tap change passcode now once again it will ask you for your old passcode now just go ahead and enter your old passcode and then it will come across i mean you will come across this option called password options now go ahead and type your password options you're going to get the three category of using your password now first up is a custom alphanumeric code second up custom number code and a third of all four digit numeric code so it is highly recommendable for you to use that custom alphabetic code and then you're going to get to see your keyboard on your iphone now you can actually choose the large or the longest password as possible to get you know the strongest security as possible now i'm just going to go ahead and use or set a password just by using those uh you know alphabetic award now at this point you actually can choose between your letter and numbers now afterward go ahead and tap next now just enter the same password now tap done all right guys now your password has been stated now there are a couple of things you also can do from here let's say if you just go ahead and scroll down now this option is actually says allow access when locked now all i want you to do is just go ahead and turn all of this off to get a stronger security now here as you guys can see there are a few different options like notification center control center you know reply with masses and more and if you toggle them all off now no access will be given on your iPhone when it's locked. Well, and afterward, as soon as you unlock your device, then you'll be able to access all of these options that you have just toggled off from here. Now, at the same time, you also can, you know, enable an option on the bottom called erase data now when you need to turn or toggle on these options now it is says actually if somebody gives you the wrong attempts for 10 times all of this data will be erased let's say if somebody you know got your iphone and tried more than 11 time then your all of this information will be erased from your iphone so that nobody can be able to get your information on their hands so in that way you'll be able to improve your privacy on your iphone so this is what you can do from here to improve your privacy now let's go ahead and move on to the next process to talk about more privacy on your iphone all right guys now the next things you have to be careful with the advertisers now if you don't want advertisers to get your personal data just go ahead and open up your settings scroll down to your privacy once again scroll down to your apple advertising and now go ahead and toggle on your personalized ad now as soon as you turn on that personalized ad now no advertisers won't be able to get your information to them after that if you want to improve your privacy even more the next things you can do just go ahead and tap back now go ahead and tap analytics and improvement you simply can turn off share iphone analytics 
to improve your privacy even better than before. All right, guys, so these are the things that you can do in water to improve your privacy, and this is how it's done. All right, guys, hope this video is useful. If you think so, be sure to hit the like button and feel free to subscribe to the channel to get more useful video content for yourself. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.